This here has to be one of the best tripods I've ever tested. And right now, you can get it too. This is the latest offering from Freewell. These are the guys who do lenses, filters, all those sorts of things in their top tier quality. This, this thing's bloody awesome. Now, generally when you're looking for a tripod, you're going to buy one of two sorts of heads. You're going to buy a ball head or you're going to buy a pan and tilt head. This has both. Something else that you generally look for when you're buying a tripod is how heavy this thing is, especially for doing landscape and doing astrophotography. You don't want to be carting something heavy around through the bush to get to where you want to go. And this thing, it's light as a feather, absolutely light as a feather. But being lightweight doesn't mean that this can't take a fair amount of weight sitting on top of it. It can take quite a bit. I've been putting this through the paces for the last week or so and I haven't found a situation where I've gone, I need something better than this. At first glance, it looks like a regular tripod, the three legs, the center column and a head. To use these legs, these legs are super lightweight and they're easy to use. You've got one turn point right here on the foot of the tripod leg. You turn that, extends the whole thing, turn this off at the end, and that's that's held there nice and tight. If you wanted to move just this one section here, you would just undo that one section and move it and then tighten it back up. It is so much easier than any other tripod I've used. The whole tilt, th uh, turn things at each interval, the lock things at each interval. This here, simple as. And all three legs are the same. It's got a little, little diagram there to unlock it, extend it, turn it again, lock it, and it works just the same for all three legs. But one leg is a little bit different. One leg will actually turn into a monopod. See that right there? The one with the free wheel sticker on it? That there is going to undo, and you've got yourself a monopod. Something that you usually see in really high-end tripods, the separate leg for the monopod. Now, don't get me wrong when I say about a high-end tripod. This is absolutely a high-end tripod. Everything about this is high-end. The quality, the finish, the light weight of it, the amount of weight that it can take, everything about this is high-end, except for the price. The head of this tripod is kind of a combination between a fluid head and a ball head. If you look in close here, you've got a ball head you just undo with this screw here, and you've got a ball head. Tighten that back up, and that will stay where it is right there. The fluid head is through two other screws. It's from this one here, and this one here, when you undo this, this will pan left and right, and the handle itself is actually another screw. So you would undo that screw, and you'd be able to tilt up and down. And although it's not a traditional fluid head, the stability of this as you pan shots, it really is quite good. Coming down from the ball head, and from the tripod head, I should say, you've got these two screws right here, on the top of the tripod there to screw in quarter inch threads there so you can put in different accessories. So when I'm recording my night stuff, I'll actually have uh, a magic arm going down there with a light on top of it. It works really well. Something else you may have seen as I've been showing you around here, this white disc here, it's actually an AirTag. So you can, it comes with an AirTag mount and you would throw your own AirTag into that. And if you lose your tripod, someone pinches it so forth, this is not easy to get off. You're going to need tools to get this off. So you're gonna be able to track it down pretty quickly if you do lose it. As you would have seen before, this screw on the side here, we loosen this one off and we can extend the neck, the center column of the tripod. And this will bring it up to almost face height for me. So for me, having this at this height, this is dead set perfect. The same as the tripod that I'm using right there that, that camera's on. Uh, this one's even a little bit higher, I would say. There's a little hook underneath that center column here that you can hook bags onto, it'll keep it more steady. This thing is pretty steady, it is lightweight, but it is still steady. But you can also, if you're a bit worried, if it's really high wind, you can just put something onto that hook under there, like a bag or something, and it'll keep the weight on there for you. That hook unscrews and serves a good purpose. There are two ways to get this tripod to get even lower. You can just reduce the size of the legs, the length of the legs, uh, and the legs will actually splay out when you hit these little um, red tabs here, you'll be able to level out the legs. But you can also take the center column out, turn it upside down, and get even lower to the ground for those shots where you want the foreground in the shot, something distant in the shot, and give a really good depth of feel to those sorts of photos. You know the sorts of photos I'm talking about. Every other tripod I've ever, ever reviewed on this channel, I've always said you need a tripod and you need a phone holder because on this channel we do phone photography. You don't need a phone holder when you buy this tripod because this base plate here, this Arca Swiss base plate, these guys are clever. This base plate, when you undo the screw for the base plate, comes out and if we look underneath it that's a phone holder right there these little two tabs come out like this and we put our phone in here it's spring loaded so it clamps into there and if you look on the side upside down here that's the arca swiss mount and that goes straight into the tripod and holds your phone 
<laughs> it's got everything you want. There's one thing that I struggle with with almost every tripod that I get, and that's the vertical shot, uh, taking the portrait orientated shot. All of them are very good at doing this, the regular horizontal shot, and it can be a pain. You've either got to get the, the ball head into the right spot or, or, or get a, a notch that's in the side of the ball head somewhere. It's just a pain. This is not a pain at all. There's a dial here on the back where we put the Arca Swiss mount together. We undo this red dial here, and it's going to give us the pivot on the head. Now, once we've got the pivot on the head, we turn this tilt handle here. Look at that. Just as simple as that. And now, initially, I'm not going to lie to you, initially when I started doing this, I thought this is not intuitive at all. <laughs> and it really isn't. But unless you are jumping between this tripod and that tripod, you are going to get your head around this thing pretty quickly and before you know it, it's going to be second nature. This here is a perfect vertical shot. I couldn't ask for anything better out of a tripod that is just so damn small and lightweight. The price of this tripod really isn't that expensive for what you're getting here. It is on the upper level, I guess, of a phone photography tripod, but you've got to think about what we do here on this channel. And what we do is astrophotography with your cell phone, with your mobile phone camera. And at some point you may find yourself reaching for the stars a bit harder with a bit more money and you want to upgrade the camera that you're using because you are going to get better results from a dedicated DSLR or mirrorless camera for doing the astro shots that we do here. This tripod is something that you're going to buy once and it's going to last you an awfully long time regardless of the camera that you're putting on top of. This will do you through your phone photography journey, all the way through your DSLR photography journey, on landscape photography, uh, astro photography, anything, long exposure, anything that you're going to use a tripod for. This will last you an awfully long time. That's it for today, guys. Catch you later.